Howdy y'all, this is Red Wolf, and today we're going to be talking about the Cold Steel Scottish Dirk. Now this is our uh, first day in about a month where it hadn't been raining, so I'm out here trying to enjoy it. We've gone from like 35 and wet to like 80 and hot and muggy, so you know, pleasure's living around here. But um, got some time to shoot finally, so I'm going to try and run out a couple of videos real quick. So what I've got today is uh, Cold Steel Scottish Dirk. Um, this is uh, some stains from uh, some of these sweet gums I've been cutting on, uh, which has an interesting reaction with iron where it makes kind of a purple dye, which is pretty nifty. It's real freaky the first time you cut into one and get some sap on a knife and it does it. But um, this is a traditional weapon, the dirk is, of the uh, Scottish Highlands. Um, this particular handle configuration and the single-edged uh, blade in particular being a evolution of some earlier knives um they're used for combat and survival they're they're, they're really like um scottish multi-tool you know they fight with them they chop wood they skin game um personal protection the whole nine yards and um they cut better than i was expecting it looks very much like a piercing shape but all the um, angles and stuff on are really good um, really good for whittling. Um, all around, it's actually becoming one of my EDC blades, um, which is legal here. I really like it. Um, I believe the specs, it's a 13 or a 13 and a half inch blade. Um, we've got a um, steel, black and steel. I'm not sure if guard is the right word. It's somewhere between a vestigial guard and a bolster. And we've got our cap up here, which is round, and I don't know if you can see really the shaping. But all of this right here, once you get it in, it locks really well in the hand around this, which is sort of your axis point. It makes for real quick, solid flick, wrist flick type cuts, but also for big arm chops, it holds up really well. It's not quite as good as some of my like heavy buoys but it's a lot more than I expected. It's good enough that I don't feel like I need another knife out here. Um, point penetrates really well. It's a good design. It's stiff with just this little bit of distal uh, taper right there. Um, they say that the handle is rosewood. It's got this real dark stain. Um, I personally could do without the rivets. They are texturally interesting, but they don't seem to do much. And it works really good in um, a reverse grip here too. Um, I, I personally find it fits good off the middle finger and you can get some good grips. Um, the um, Cataran Society has some stuff on using these in combat, which is pretty interesting. Um, but I kind of need to rein this in for a minute because I'm going into what I like about the Dirk. Um, this is supposed to be a cold steel review. So pros and cons. Um, awesome steel. Um, the fit and finish has been really good. Um, it's comfortable. Um, it really gets the job done. And I mean, it looks snazzy. This is the uh, sheath it came with. They look snazzy. They look real uh, snazzy together. Um, the, the, and the real pros come down to I like the blade. I've already made my own uh, sheath for it for carrying it because I think the sheath is absolutely garbage. Um, first off, it's designed right here. I don't know if you can see this a little bit wider here, which means you can only carry it with the edge facing this direction. So if you got it down here in the traditional carry, which is right beside the Sporan up front in front of your uh, right watch pocket, your right pocket, um, the edge is back towards you. Uh, the Highlanders typically wear it edge forward. So this is like a permanent strong side. It's kind of sword draw. And I don't like that. It should be ambi or the other way around. Um, the other thing is it's only held in here. They've got some weird plastic lips with like a glue stud on it. I cut it out after I decided to trash this to look at it. It's just this long piece of thing that kind of puts pressure on it. Um, I don't like it when I'm walking. And it, it, it's got this really huge dangle. And I've had the knife fly out of it, and I nearly stabbed myself in the knee as I'm stepping forward. Um, not, not even at a run or anything, just walking real fast. I don't like it. You can see I tried shortening it. I put my own stitch in here. 
to try and shorten it a little bit so it didn't flop as much. I don't don't like it. Um, practically, this is a zero. It, it doesn't do anything for me. Um, the knife, though, is going to be in my permanent kit when I do a lot of my French and Indian, do my Highland um, martial arts, do some of my reenactment stuff. This is going to be in it. Y'all are going to see this more on camera. Um, I'll do a little bit more testing with it then so y'all can see what it does. But um, solid recommendation on the knife, but plan on buying another sheath. Until next time, this is Rebel signing off. Y'all keep up the good fight.